Ghosts of the Air by Martin Kaidin is a compelling and thought-provoking short story that delves into the psychological and emotional struggles of a World War II pilot haunted by the memories of his combat experiences. Kaidin, known for his works in aviation and war literature, skillfully combines elements of realism and the supernatural to create a tale that explores the lasting impact of war on the human psyche. The story opens with an atmosphere of quiet contemplation as the protagonist, a seasoned pilot named Mark, reflects on his time in combat. Right from the beginning, the reader is immersed in a world of introspection and retrospection. Mark's character is vividly portrayed as he wrestles with the ghosts of his past, both literal and metaphorical. This dual interpretation of ghosts serves as the core theme, symbolizing the lingering trauma and the actual apparitions he encounters. The story's setting, a remote airfield, adds to the sense of isolation and desolation, mirroring Mark's emotional state. Caden's choice of location is significant in emphasizing Mark's detachment from the civilian world, underlining the stark contrast between wartime experiences and post-war life. This isolation is a recurring theme throughout the narrative, emphasizing Mark's solitude as he confronts his demons. Kaidin skillfully employs symbolism in the story, particularly through the spectral P-51 Mustang fighter plane that appears to Mark. The ghostly plane is a symbol of his past, a constant reminder of the battles he fought. It embodies the idea that the past is not easily discarded or forgotten. Rather, it continues to haunt those who have lived through it. The plane also serves as a link to Mark's lost comrades, highlighting the camaraderie and brotherhood that war fosters, a theme often explored in war literature. As the narrative unfolds, Mark's psychological struggle intensifies. His encounters with the ghostly plane become more frequent and vivid, blurring the line between reality and hallucination. This blurring of reality is a poignant representation of the psychological toll of war. Mark is unable to escape his memories, and the story suggests that the trauma he endured will forever be a part of him. Caden's writing is evocative and poignant, with rich descriptions that pull the reader into Mark's world. The author's use of language paints a vivid picture of the airfield, the haunting plane, and Mark's emotional turmoil. Caden's prose is both descriptive and introspective, reflecting Mark's inner journey as he grapples with his past. The climax of the story is both thrilling and emotionally charged. Mark's final flight with the ghostly plane is a culmination of his struggle to come to terms with his past. It's a moment of reckoning, a cathartic experience that allows him to confront his demons head-on. The author masterfully conveys the intense emotions Mark experiences during this flight, combining elements of fear, nostalgia, and liberation. The denouement of the story is bittersweet. Mark's final interaction with the ghostly plane is a moment of closure and acceptance. The story ends on a note of ambiguity, leaving it to the reader to decide whether Mark's encounter was a product of his imagination or a supernatural experience. This ambiguity adds depth to the narrative, inviting readers to contemplate the boundaries between reality and perception. In conclusion, Ghosts of the Air by Martin Kaidin is a powerful and poignant exploration of the psychological impact of war. Through the character of Mark and his encounters with a spectral P-51 Mustang, the author delves into the enduring trauma and emotional scars that soldiers carry with them long after the war has ended. Caden's masterful storytelling, rich symbolism, and evocative prose make this short story a compelling and thought-provoking read. It serves as a reminder of the human cost of war and the ghosts that continue to haunt those who have experienced it.